What up, though? I heard on many channels on this very platform from content compilers that I actually think have dope channels that people termed as black Americans and or African Americans, properly Americans, have experienced the decline in culture and immediate families because those people termed as black Americans and or African Americans, properly Americans, have been functioning under a matriarchal family structure. Many of what are termed red pill or members of what is termed the manosphere have associated what are termed black Americans and or African Americans, properly American females, as the heads of so-called black Americans and or African American households, devoid of male patriarchs. With the feminization and overly emotionalization of what is termed the black American and or African American male child, and ultimately the decline of what is termed the black American and or African American family unit. Properly American family unit. What is said is. Those term black Americans and or African Americans must return to the patriarchal model or what these mainly well intentioned critics understand as patriarchy. In this returned, it is assumed will strengthen the family, returning family members to their former stability, cohesion and position amongst the well to do. Let's shake it. King James Bible history. The King James Version copyright. A sordid tale of intrigue and avarice. Posted by Timothy Berg, 2020. It seems almost par for the course to claim that the King James Version is the only English Bible not copyrighted and that all other modern versions are thus inferior to the King James Version for this reason. I remember hearing preachers while I was a teen railing about how this was because the King James Version represented God's words and all other Bibles were man's words. One cannot copyright God's words, of course. And that's why the King James Version is the only version not copyrighted. In fact, when I've taught on the King James Version before, lines full of people have assembled, each taking their turn to inform me that I was wrong to suggest that the King James Version is not perfect. And the basis for their rebuttal was that clearly I didn't realize that it is the only English translation not copyrighted. How could I have missed this clear proof that the King James Version is perfect? Such a sentiment about copyright is odd, both because it would be irrelevant even if it were true, and, more importantly, because it is blatantly false. <clears throat> R. B. Ouellet wrote what is, in my opinion, one of the best of the books defending the King James Version. We used his book as a required text in grad school at the Fundamentalist Bible College. Ouellet writes these words about the, about the King James Version, false statement, 
the King James Bible is copyrighted, then proceeds to contradict himself. He claims that the copyright on the King James Version is only to protect the text and asserts that this entire approach is different from the copyrights held today on modern Bible versions. R.B. Willett, A More Sure Word, page 149. Cambridge University Press has a copyright on the King James Version, which produces revenue. Robert Barker, the King's printer, held the monopoly on printing Bibles of any kind. When the King James Version was printed, the United States Constitution's copyright clause did not yet exist. Copyright law wasn't a thing, but that doesn't mean the precursor rights equivalent to copyright didn't exist. The first edition of the King James Version was printed with the Latin words cum privilegio or with privilege, at the bottom of its title page for the New Testament. This was the common practice to identify the royal privilegia of printing. The Barkers, as royal printers, held the printing rights of the crown or the privilege of printing it initially. They had a financially beneficial monopoly on printing it. Willette asserts that for the purpose of protecting the text, the King James Version of the Bible was originally copyrighted and still is in the United Kingdom. Willette, page 149. The rights of printing it are still today held by the crown, the same crown that produced it. The royal patent was extended later to Oxford University Press and Cambridge University Press. The Guardian, the King James Bible and Eternal Copyright. The Crown has a perpetual copyright on the King James Bible through letters patent originally issued to stop unofficial editions and then to protect the, the country from ranters, shakers, Quakers, nonconformity, and popery. Jim Killock, Executive Director, Open Rights Group. Genesis chapter 2, King James Version. Genesis chapter 2, www.kingjamesbibleonline.org. Again, the online version. 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. 21 and 22 again. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. The Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he 
a woman, made who a woman, made he, made man a woman, and brought her unto man. 21 and 22, King James Bible Online.org. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. The Lord God caused the deep sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman made he a she and brought her unto the man. Samuel Johnson's Dictionary 1755 Lord, Monarch, Ruler, Governor Master, supreme person, a tyrant, an oppressive ruler, a husband, one who is at the head of any business, an overseer, a nobleman, a general name for a peer of England. 1828 American Dictionary of the English Language, the online version by Noah Webster. Lord, a master, a person possessing supreme power and authority, a ruler, a governor, a tyrant, an oppressive ruler, a husband, a baron, the proprietor of a manor, a nobleman, a title of honor in Great Britain given to those who are noble by birth or creation, a peer of the realm, including dukes, marquises, or marquises, earls, viscounts, and barons, archbishops, and bishops also, as members of the House of Lords, are lords of parliament. Thus we say, lords temporal and spiritual. By courtesy also the title is given to the sons of dukes and marquises and to the eldest sons of earls. An honorary title bestowed on certain official characters. In scripture, the supreme being, Jehovah. Lord, verb, intransitive, to domineer. To rule with arbitrary or despotic sway. Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary. Lord. A man of high rank in the nobility. People of high social class or somebody who has been given the title Lord as an honor, a title used for some high official positions in the UK, a title of respect used when speaking to a judge, bishop, or some male members of the nobility, people of high social class, a powerful man in medieval Europe who owned a lot of land and property. A title used to refer to God or Christ. A title used to refer to Christ. <clears throat> the Lords, House of Lords, the part of Parliament whose members are not elected by the people of the country. Samuel Johnson's Dictionary, the online version, 1755. God, Saxon, 
which likewise signifies good. The Supreme Being. A false god and idol. Any person or thing deified or too much honored. Eighteen twenty eight American Dictionary of the English Language by Noah Webster, the online version. God, the supreme being, Jehovah, the eternal and infinite spirit, the creator and the sovereign of the universe. Hmm. A false god, a heathen deity, an idol, a prince, a ruler, a magistrate or judge, an angel. Any person or thing exalted too much in estimation or deified and honored as the chief good. God, verb, transitive, to deify. Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary, the online version. God the being or spirit that is worshipped and is believed to have created the universe. All y'all beings, all y'all claim to be spiritual, right? Who do you deify the most? The being or spirit that is worshipped and is believed to have created the universe. A being or spirit who is believed to have power over a particular part of nature or who is believed to represent a particular quality. A person who is loved or admired very much by other people. A person, this is not the first time one of these definitions specifically said a person, something to which too much importance or attention is given, something to which too much importance or attention is given. The gods, the seats that are high up at the back of a theater. Samuel Johnson's Dictionary, the online version, 1755. Patriarch, one who governs by paternal right, the father and ruler of a family, a bishop superior to archbishops. Johnson's Dictionary, online.com. The Black America's Handbook for Survival Through the 21st Century. By Radine A. America. Conquest is a con used to get people to volunteer to relinquish support toward their purpose of their life force power with the planet. Quest is the general the generational focus it takes to keep the people perceptional perceptional focused perceptionally focused to destroy the nature of earth life and its people generational power from the con roman system of patriarchy Patriarchy is an intellectual ideology form or vice of warfare developed by homosexual men promoted to heterosexual males to use against their life females of the earth. Patriarchy is a homogeneous homosexual social system 
promoted and adopted by males in their quest to become, replace, or erase, repress, and control the feminine purpose as the creator for life. A patriarch is a male or woman who has no respect for the feminine purpose as creators of life and see themselves as the supreme over life. A consciousness that puts the male against the females who created them, anti-nature, anti-earth, anti-social. All living forms are to be used as objects no differently than a craftsman uses materials. The nature of the life of earth becomes the prey of mankind. What is a patriarchal society? A patriarchal society is based on Eurocentric con concepts of social development. The society is a homogeneous male and male instead of heterogeneous male and female society. A society governed by the doctrine ideology of the supremacy of man. Patriarchal societies influence allegiance through the use of fear, suppression, physical submission, hedonism, and fostering dominance over the earth's soil inheritance with females of the earth by using the fertility of life power with females for the absolute narcissistic pleasure of men. The overriding factor to maintain this society is to remove the females of the earth control over birth, regeneration of life with earth, and the healing power of unity through females' life force. <clears throat> what is the culture of patriarchy? The culture of patriarchy consists of five components, misogyny, violence, materialism, individualism, and exploitation, and exploitation which create homogeneity, homogeneity and narcissism. The culture is void, has no value of all forms of building life. People live in consciousness outside of natural preciousness of duality or hetero systems for continuing life into the future. Focus is on now. Life of squander, no purpose for life, only to serve or be served by man. How did patriarchy take over the indigenous way of living? How did patriarchy take over the indigenous way of living? All forms of influence used toward the corruption of earth awareness in males, percussion of females by males as men, for the control over the earth life support soil and personal physical body. The physical and emotional violation of the collective dignity of the creator females and the destruction of respect for the mothers in their children toward their life inheritance from their mothers were used. This became the main institutionalized form as religion of gaining social control over the population. In a natural state, females had no need for male protection as males adopted the patriarchal consciousness, changing them into men. It is now their own males whom females have to protect themselves from. In order to earn the love of the supreme man called God, in order to earn the love of the supreme man called God, you cannot have more compassion, care, concern, or respect, love for anything with life, including yourself. As a female, you live to be united in your death with him once you are released from your creation of life gift. Only fully understood, it makes a person wonder, is heaven really hell? In patriarchy, 
the earth female who represents the portal for regeneration of the blood of earth in human form as a part of nature is projected as being a mistake of nature, sin, and is viewed with contempt as unclean, material, instinctual, evil, sexually wicked, and sexually gross. Do the right thing.